Hey folks, welcome to another numeracy video. In this video, we're going to be looking at how to multiply these types of fractions here. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so let's have a look at question one here. Now, of course, when you're doing multiplication of fractions, what you would do is you would actually multiply the numerators together and then you would multiply the denominators. Now, in this particular case, I'm trying to do this without a calculator, um, you know, 35 times three, it's a, it's a bit of a work. And especially if you look at question B there, you've got 49, four. So there is a couple of shortcuts with these types of questions and it's actually looking at the numbers itself. So the way I'm gonna do this is, if I particularly look at the five and 35, I know that there is a connection between five and 35 because 35 could be written as seven times five. And I also see a connection between three and 12 because 12 could be written as four times three. So that's what I'm gonna do. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna write down three over five multiplied by 35, which happens to be seven times five divided by 12, which happens to be four times three. And when I do this, uh, and I think this is the beauty of fractions, right? Because what you do is when you do fraction times another fraction, you can actually rewrite it like this. So you would rewrite this as three times seven times five over five times four times three. Now at this point, what you can do is you can look at the common factors. The common factors is we've actually got three and three as a common factor. And if we do three divided by three, that's one. So in other words, what you can do is you can kind of cancel them out. Then you have a five and another five. Those are common factors as well. And of course, if you do five divided by five, that's going to be one. So I'm actually gonna get rid of that. So what are we left over with? All we left over with is just seven over four. So if you look at that top number, three fifths times 35 over 12, that's actually equal to seven over four. Let's just check it out in the calculator. So if I actually do three fifths, so I've got three fifths, and then I'm gonna multiply it with, got it there, yep, multiplied by 35 over 12. Now what the calculator does is it actually gives you the simplified answer, which is seven over four. And as you can see, uh, just another way for us to get seven over four using it without a calculator. So let's try question B here. Question B, what we've got here is we've got seven and 49. And we can see that there's a connection between seven and 49 because 49 is seven times seven. Then we've got the connection between four and 16. Uh, four, 16 is actually four times four. Now you don't need to write all the steps down like how I did in the first step. What you can do is you can actually write it like this as well. You can go four over seven times seven times seven and then four times four. And at this point you can start canceling things out. So the first four is canceling out with the four in the denominator and the seven is also canceled out with the seven in the denominator. Uh, what are the odds? The uh, the answer to this question also happens to be uh, seven over four because that's the only thing that's left standing after all the cancellations. So like I said, um, you know, in question A, I kind of showed you folks the long way of doing it. Question B is kind of like the medium way of doing this. Uh, question C, I'm gonna try and do this a really quick way because what you can do is you can look at these two numbers and see where the numbers are connected. So if you look at it, you've got two and 18. Now two and 18 is connected because you can actually say, um, what is it, 18 is nine over nine times two. So what you can do, and some people do this, is they kind of go, well, two divided by two is one, 18 divided by two is nine. Then they kind of do the same thing with nine and 72. They go, well, 72 is nine times eight. So I could go nine divided by nine, that's gonna give me a one. 72 divided by nine is going to give me eight. And now what, you've, now what you've got is you've got one times eight in the numerator, one times nine in the denominator, and you're gonna get eight over nine. Now, as you can see, there is uh, multiple ways of doing this. And particularly when you start doing algebraic fractions and you have to kind of um, dealing with X squareds and X cubes, this definitely um, kind of will help you folks uh, trying to simplify fractions. Now I know at this point right now you can be like, well, I can just use it, use the calculator and I could get my answer. Yes, that's true. You can use the calculator to get the answer. But uh, what's also important is that if you are doing higher level maths, 
you want to be able to uh, be comfortable with doing things like how we do in question C. All right, folks, that is basically it for this video. As always, don't forget to like this video, share this video, and subscribe to keep up with the latest content. Now, there should be a couple of playlists popping up here and here. Great material for revision, and as always, thank you for watching.